Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this video, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to export just the audio from your ScreenFlow project. So let's say you're syncing audio to a video, but you only want the audio that you've you know synced up to that video. There is a way to export just the audio and not the video. So let me show you how to do that. So in order to do that, go ahead and open up the video that you want to remove the audio from and then export that into an MP3 or WAV file, uh, which are my two uh, preferred audio files. And then once you're ready to do that, go up to file and then go down to export, just like you're going to export the video file or format from the project. And then once you're ready, you're going to see a few different options. Right here, you're going to see a button that says customize. So normally it's going to save it as a .mp4, which is the preferred video format of ScreenFlow. Now what you're going to want to do is hit this customize button there. Then you're going to see two different things. You're going to see the H.264 video and then the AAC audio. Now what you're going to want to do is uncheck the video portion of the option here and then leave all of this the same unless you want it maybe mono which I don't know why you would want that and then all you would need to do is click the blue OK button. Now this really is kind of a workaround, but what I like to do is go ahead and delete the extension, the file extension for the .mp4 or whatever video format you usually save as, and go ahead and type in either .wav or .mp3. That way it plays nice with all the audio players that you may be using to play back the audio. And then once you're ready, go ahead and go to export. Now once we export it, it's obviously going to export it much, much quicker. But then once we go over to where the file is located, which is on my desktop, I'm gonna open up a new finder window here, go over to desktop, and then right here is just going to be just the voice, just the sound, and then when we play it back, it's not going to be a video file, it's going to be the audio. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and slap that thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great tech content, gaming content, anything like that. Subscribe to the channel. I am full of all of that good stuff. Also, thank you as always for watching my videos. And for more tutorial videos on ScreenFlow, click the links below and in this video to learn more about how to use ScreenFlow. I will see you guys in the next one.